Welcome here, Mr. Uh, Shri Ravi Shankar Prasad and Mr. Bhupendra Chaubey. Um, well, I started writing this book uh, about two years ago, and the basic thought or the basic idea that I had in mind was to replicate the chaos uh, and the turbul turbulent relationships of my first book, but put it in a, against a larger national backdrop. So, uh, the book is unusual in the sense of it plays with several ideas. One is, it, it tends to balance the personal and the political throughout. It plays with the idea that, that your personal relationships are not unaffected by your ideological moorings. So often, without me realizing it, without two people realizing it, you know, I mean, a guy or a girl in a relationship tends tend to fall apart because, because of ideological differences, because of uh, the sheer fact that one person may hate Mr. Modi, the other person may defy Mr. Modi. Because one person may, may have a soft corner for the Naxal, the other may just abhor the Naxal movement. The other thing which the book plays upon is the volatile nature of Indian politics that we've seen the last, that we've seen in the last 20 years. Most of it has to do, perhaps, with the fact that Indian, uh, Indian democracy, one realizes, is perhaps over dramatic in the sense the our fixation to numbers, in a bit to in a in a bit to ensure a majority, has led to all sort leads to all sorts of uh, opportunistic alliances, and this problem has only become more menacing with the growth of regional parties. So what we see today is the coming together or drifting apart of political parties. I mean, purely for considerations of retaining power or purely for considerations of extracting the maximum gain out of the ruling coalition. So what happens thereby is that most of the decisions, whether they have to do with the nuclear deal or whether they have to do with the women's reservation, are voted for or voted, uh, voted against depending on the whims and fancies of the, of the regional parties. And as such, uh, Indian politics tends to, more, tends to be more opportunistic than ever. In the same way that our political parties form or break alliances, ironically enough, a similar making or breaking of alliances takes place in the book between three of my protagonists, Aditya Savar Singh, who belongs to the Congress party, Rajesh Ranjan, who belongs to the BJP, and Chaitali uh, Sen, who belongs to the CPIM. Now, the basic idea is, can we differentiate a congressman, um, a BJP guy or a communist girl? Do they behave differently? Do they generally talk differently? And in its own unsuspecting way, as you read the book, you will realize that the book gets into, like Nandita mentioned, lots of recent political developments, developments which have taken place in recent history in the last 30 or 40 years, and does tend to put fixed responsibility for our failures as a nation. So. Uh, Without uh, taking more time, I would uh, like to invite Mr. Shri Prasad to unveil the book for, for all of us. Thank you. 